great stuff from Jeff Lurie. Too many questions at the end about Brazil and Peacock. I don't, I don't really care. Like I know, I know you got to ask the questions. I will say, I will say, you know, we were doing the Insider of the Year rankings. Yeah, good showing by LA Shore Parks today. You know, you got to get a couple questions. You get some in questions there. in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ask uh, about job security for Nick Sirianni. Okay. Ask about Sirianni's sideline demeanor. Okay. It's almost like you want to say WIP when couching his questions. Though he's like, there's noise on the outside. Yeah, don't say WIP. There's no way to get shut down quicker than to say WIP. Yep. Uh, and <laughs> listen, while he didn't really say a whole bunch I'm of joking, what I say I know that. we're just yes. we're just joking. Yes. Little too pro Nick. Little too pro Nick from from the owner today. A lot of well, he's thirty one and seven. A lot of uh, playoffs in mm-hmm. three years. Right. A lot of well, after the year, he was just so self critical. Yeah. And he he came to us actually, and he said maybe we need to make changes on the offensive and defensive code. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's how that whole thing went down. But listen, he he <laughs> he threw a a vote of confidence behind yes. Nick Sirianni, and, and for me, a little bit a, a little bit too much. I mean, he also did put pressure on him with the whole, you know, he, he, everyone has has pressure on them heading into a year. Every coach has that stuff. But like when I when I. Nick Sirianni just doesn't do that much to where I think he's a difference-making type head coach. And, yeah, if you want to keep him, that's fine. It was just a little so special at all these certain different things, a little too supportive of Nick. Um, and I, I found it not very believable mm-hmm. like because I, I don't think that his standing in the organization is as rock solid as I felt like they tried to present it today. Um. I think that's – listen, I, I think his standing is is rock solid. I'm using air quotes. Uh, what does that mean? Anything can happen this year and he has job security? I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that it would be the case with anybody who's in a position where there are high expectations. But I don't believe they're looking for a reason to fire Nick Sirianni. I mean, if they wanted to fire Nick Sirianni, they could have fired him this offseason. Right. I mean, they, they they could have if they wanted to. So when it when he when he talks about all these things that he views as positives, I I believe him. I believe him when he says that those are things he believes are a strength of Knicks versus some of the other things. When he talks about play calling, this and that and the other, and he I guess technically he's right. Ray Rose wasn't a play caller. And he didn't call plays. Mike Holmgren called plays in Green Bay. Uh, Chip called plays. Doug did not call plays in Kansas City. And neither did Nick Sirianni. So when he says he's never hired a head coach with play calling being at the top of his priority list, his track record says he's right in that. Right. Yeah, because he has hired offensive coaches. But it doesn't mean that they have to be the play caller. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we said play callers. No, I know. Yeah. I know. I couldn't tell if he meant like he didn't hire guys to be play callers or if he just didn't hire guys that had called plays in the past. Well, that's what everybody is focused on around here is play calling. Yes. Right. So people don't want Nick here because of he doesn't call plays. So he had to explain that coaches bring more to the table than just calling plays, and that has never been the top reason as he saw fit to hire a coach. Now, if Nick called plays, I think that would be great. I think we all think that would be great. But Nick gave up play calling six weeks into his first year as a head coach. Mm-hmm. He's going into his fourth year. And there's a- and he was only had to call plays last year because the other play caller wasn't doing a very good job. Right. Right. I know. And, and, and the, by the way, the two times he has – been involved in play calling, mm-hmm. haven't exactly been super thrilled with their results on the offense. I just, I, I agree. I just wonder, that, which is why he's not the play caller, right? I guess I just wonder if if Nick's on board because it, it, listening to his, to Lori, it was very clear that that they want a new innovative offense. I know that they said that Nick was influential in bringing Kellen Moore here. Mm-hmm. I, I understand all that stuff, mm-hmm. but it it did in listening to him feel like they want. Kellen Moore to call and design the offense, and I just wonder if Nick's on board. Because Nick, yeah, he's still here as the coach. If he wasn't on board, he could have resigned. Well, he's, I mean, again, but this morning with Nick, it was like, well, we're going to mesh the offenses, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. the The way the owner talks right there is this is is Kellen Moore's show on offense. Yeah, I, I 
I, I think those that focus on that are focused on that, and those that aren't aren't focused on that. I I, I don't even view Nick as a play call. I think Kellen Moore is going to call the plays. He's the offensive coordinator. Nick is the head coach. That, like when the offense isn't going well, I'm not blaming Nick Sirianni. I'm blaming Kellen Moore. Yeah, and I, th- I think that's where a lot He's of he's the play are caller. Here. Two one five five nine two ninety four ninety four is how you get in reacting to the Lord. Well, should that matter to some people? I mean, I it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it may matter to some people. I don't know. Does it matter to you? Like it doesn't. It does not matter to me. Sir, so I being off, involved with the offense. Yeah, no, him being the play caller. He, he, He's he, gonna be involved with the offense. And I don't really want him to be involved in the <laughs> offense uh, at all. Uh, so it doesn't bother me. I don't want him calling plays. Okay. I, I don't want him calling plays. I don't okay. really want him being a part of the offensive meetings. So, like, yeah, but, I know it's not super realistic. Yeah, that's, that's silly, yes. But, like, w- what things am I looking for Nick Sirianni to mesh with, with Kellen Moore? You can, you can have the tush push. You can have the tush push all you want. You can – you everything else, though, like, the offense was was super boring and super uninnovative, and, and with all the skill position players they had last year, it felt like they struggled to move the football. And while, I, sure, you want to be this offensive coach all you want – like the reason you're still here is because you were able to say, okay, let's go get Kellen Moore, and, and he, he can kind of run the show. If he wants to keep his job here for a long time, then that's the best path going forward. It's not him being more involved with the offense. I who I, I he didn't say he's going to be more involved with you. I, I don't understand what you're saying. You want him to be completely. You want him to sit outside while they're doing stuff. That's not going to happen. I don't care how much you or anybody else don't want Nick Sirianni involved. Get over it. Get over it. If you think he's going to go sit in a cafeteria where everybody else is in meetings all day, putting together an offense and just show up on game day on Sunday with a whistle in his hand, like that's that's not that's not reasonable to think. He's going to be in on offensive meetings. He's going to have input on what goes into the game plan. How much of that input is, we are not privy to that. We're not a part of the meeting. So mm-hmm. I don't worry about whether or not he gets to have two plays put in or he gets 30 plays put in. Like, we're never going to know that. But You're he, never going to know that. But here's here's where I just don't get it. Like, he's this – billed as a CEO-type head coach, right? And I know his his background is offense. But, like, I don't think John Harbaugh is going into those meetings with who's ever the offensive coordinator for the Ravens and saying, I want this installed. Or, or Mike, you don't? You, you think you, I, I guarantee you he is. I guarantee you he is. In what way? Like, play design? Philosophy. I want to be a running team. I want to be an explosive offense. I guarantee you John Harbaugh has say on that. He doesn't hire the coach without that that coach understanding what our philosophy is and what I would like to see as a head coach. The same way with uh, Mike Tomlin. Now, granted, you hire a coach because you trust their expertise, but the head coach is going to give you some semblance of an idea of what he wants the offense to look like. Like He's not going to just be like, okay, I'll, I guess on Sunday I'll find out what we're doing. Well, I, of course, like he's gonna have little things to do with that stuff, and yeah. he, and if he wants to have the overall vision of like, because he, he always talks about explosive plays. Yes, like, oh, we want this, we want that. Yes, you know. But when it comes to physically designing the explosive, well, plays, well, well, what you do is you give the blueprint to the coordinator, and the coordinator has to design a offensive game plan that fits the philosophy in which the head coach wants. That makes sense. Sure. Like they like, in other words, you, you they tell us what they want, and we it's our job to go in and work under those parameters. You got you got the ability to, to design it how you want to, but understand this is what I'm really trying to do here. Two two one five five nine two ninety four ninety four. Sirianni, man. Yeah, man. Oh man, when I think offensive genius, I want him involved <laughs> as much as possible. We'll play some as Nick Sirianni and what he had to say. I thought he did a great job today. You did. I did. Yeah, he's, he looks like he's aged a little bit. He's a little more gray in that beard. Well, believe me, being a head coach, he's going to look a lot different when he's when he's finally done. <laughs> yep, he sure will. So what did Nick Sirianni say this morning about the meshing of the two systems on offense? Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll play that coming up next and uh, get back into all your phone calls. 215-592-9494 is how you get in. It's the Afternoon Show, Sports Radio 94 WYP.